Mr. Perk. I'm one of the drivers on the Fat Controller's Railway. It's a lovely spring day out there. Up to now, the weather's been quite cold, but now it's warmed up and all the snow is melting. Ah, I love this warm weather, but it can cause problems too. The melting snow can cause the rivers to rise and even to flood. That's what happens in one of these stories too. It's called Toby's Tightrope, but it's also about Mavis too. Mavis is a diesel engine belonging to the Farquhar Quarry Company. Mavis had taken trucks down Toby's line and got stuck because he didn't know how to manage on the icy rain. The manager spoke to her severely. You are a very naughty engine. You have no business going down Toby's line instead of doing your own work up here. To put the trucks where Toby wanted them, Mavis had to go backwards and forwards, taking a few at a time. If we used the tiniest bit of Toby's line, Mavis said, we could save all this bother. The manager allowed her to go as far as the first level crossing. Some trains were so long that Mavis had to go beyond the level crossing. This gave her ideas. Will you bump me at the level crossing and tell no one I asked you? She asked the trucks. The trucks were delighted and promised they would. But then Toby arrived while Mavis was elsewhere and decided to shunt the trucks himself. They reached the level crossing and Toby's brakes came on. On, 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 yelled the trucks, giving him a fearful bump. Toby was away, with the trucks screaming and yelling behind him. What none of them had realized was that melted snow from the mountains had turned a quiet stream into a raging torrent. The supports of the bridge had been washed away, leaving the rails like tight ropes across the gap. The driver braked hard. Toby went into a squealing slide, groaned fearfully, and stopped with his wheels treading the tight rope over the abyss. Mavis was horrified. She brought some men who anchored Toby with ropes while she pulled the trucks away. Then she ran to the rescue. Toby was soon back on firm track and saying thank you to Mavis. A very smart piece of work, said the fat controller. Mavis did well. Mavis looked ashamed. It was my fault about those trucks, sir, she faltered. I didn't know. Mavis is still young and makes mistakes, but she's never too proud to ask Toby. Toby always helped her put things right. And the manager agreed that Mavis could come down the line sometimes, too. Well, I suppose everyone makes mistakes sometimes, don't they? But not everyone is as kind as Toby to help their friends put their mistakes right.